uh, Mani Mota punya video is defective because it's, it's, it's on the underlying presumption that Zaid is guilty is on the underlying uh, presumption that you know uh, this government is backpedaling on corruption kot mana but before we proceed the further video if you're new to this channel remember go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future the foremost flaw of Baryam Mokhtar's video on this matter are a few. Number one, the way she talks, uh, she based her premise on the fact that Zahid is guilty. I do not know where it comes from. Huh? At best, it probably comes from the fact that uh, Justin Collins Sekera established a prima facie case against Zahid. But if you look at all so many other court cases where eventually the accused is acquitted, uh, it is not before there was actually a prima facie case established well ahead of the trial. So therefore, establishment of, an, of a prima facie case does not tend to amount to guilt. If it is, then there should not be a trial, there should not be prosecution, defense, uh, cross examination and ruling tak payah once judge decide prima facie case terus hantar ke jail that is kalau people want to argue that a person is guilty uh, straight away guilty and should be treated so in the event that uh, prima facie case is found against them ok so let's not forget saya sadik pun case dia pun also prima facie case established also ordered to enter into defence uh, but can I say now that Syed Sadiq is guilty? Boleh? Tak boleh kan? He's got to go to trial kan? Syed Sadiq punya narrative pun dia fitnah. Narrative Syed Sadiq is that dia difitnah because dia refuse to join bersatu. Now Zahid also now have that same narrative, same kind of narrative. Dia refuse to bubar UMNO and because of that, dia dicharged. So what gives more credence to Syed Sadiq punya assertions than Zahid punya assertions? I am no defender of Zaid, but I'm just comparing apples to apples. Uh, why? Because Zaid ada 47 charges, uh, Syed Sadiq ada satu. Is it? Is that, what, is that the, the measure? So the point is, a crime is a crime lah. Kalau Syed Sadiq masuk jail satu tahun, Zaid masuk 10 tahun, isti masuk jail juga. Dodo convict. Dodo tak boleh jadi MP lagi dah. Dodo criminal. So, it's just the degree of things. But why you now give different treatment? Okay? Next thing is that Mariam also kata that, you know, DNA ni doesn't mean like lepas. Dia masuk dia indefinitely postpone. Tahu pun. You tahu pun is indefinitely postpone. Bukannya uh, temporarily suspended. Huh? Jadi, you pun tahu that Zahid bukan lepas terus. So, now why do you think so? Maknanya, you also accept the narrative that prosecution perlu masa untuk investigate lebih and that's what the, the prosecution dah submit pun pada court. They want to kaji lebih menyeluruh. Ha, tapi sekarang ni, apa yang Syed Sadiq berani bercakap? Dia berani apa? Dia berani fitnah. Dia tak ada information. Dia tak tahu apa dia. Kenapa ada DNA. Dia tak nampak apa representation. So therefore, of course, Syed Sadiq deserves to be uh, apa ni, lambasted, lambasted and condemned. Maria Mota is also doing the same. Uh, buruk untuk negara. Apa yang buruk dia kalau representasi dibuat, 8 kali dia buat representation and AG eventually accept the representation and decided together with the authorities that further investigation is required, that the charges were rushed. So therefore, you still kata suspended. So why? You nak kata benda ni buruk, the optics is not good, uh, bad for the country and Syed Sadiq berani bercakap and apa ni, you know, you are implying, implying that hypocrisy Untuk all the hotel hotel politics, uh, who's not saying a word? Why should they say a word? Everything is a going according to procedures, according to uh, whatever the uh, uh, prosecution decided to do, and that is happening and occurring now. So therefore, yang Sheikh Sadiq eh, nak bising, nak hentam kerajaan, keluar kerajaan to swap, is premature. You don't even know what is happening. Zahid is not acquitted yet. He's just discharged for now. You sendiri kata discharged. But then, 
uh, you kata baca seolah-olah dia lepas. Make up your mind. Decide what you want to say. You want to say dia lepas ke? Pasti kau tak lepas lagi tu apa yang travesty of justice dia? Where? Where is the travesty of justice? Apa salahnya kalau prosecution perlukan lebih masa? MACC perlu buat lebih uh, siasatan lebih menyeluruh. No stones to be unturned. So, what can we wait for that? What can we press for that? Rather than to criticize the government, criticize the PM on backpedaling or whatever his promises are. You kata dulu, kata nak lawan rasuah. Ya, yeah, precisely. So, kata nak uphold the rule of law. Precisely, this is what the AG says he's going to do. This is what PM is saying the AG wants to do. Maknanya to uphold the law, to tengok apa dia, apa, what is the problem. Lani, there's allegations against Mahathir. Mahathir apparently campur tangan, threatened and do, did something. So, Zahid came back with their narrative. That narrative, surely, kalau AG terima bulat-bulat, AG acquit dia. Tapi AG tak terima bulat-bulat. AG terima and now AG orders investigation. So, bila investigate, outcome dia could be Zahid kencing. Uh, Zahid menipu. Kalau Zahid menipu, this thing will boomerang and like Maria Mota says, temporarily suspended, it will resume and he will be recharged kalau dia kencing. Tapi kalau whatever he says betul and uh, difitnah ke apa ke, then there is further evidence. Further evidence all go into the same basket. Termasuklah whatever uh, the trials that happen, the prosecution punya witnesses, the defense witnesses, whatever they say, termasuk the prima facie case and the grounds of judgment of Justin Collins Sekira, Semua tu tengok balik and they all have to be reconciled. Kalau boleh reconcile and the outcome is to acquit Zahid because of the information yang ada and everything is reconciled, then rakyat nak bising apa? Where would Syed Sadiq punya bising be? be? Tetapi kalau tak boleh reconcile, then I already suggested that this should go back to court. Bring everything, the new evidence, whatever you discover, whatever findings from the RCI on Tommy Thomas punya memoir, uh, whatever further outcome of MACC punya further investigation now, uh, whatever AG review on the charges ke apa ke, bring that all back to the table. Uh, based on also whatever uh, whatever uh, the, the trial so far has developed, uh, has uh, outcome has come, this got to be matched, this got to be reconciled. Kalau tak boleh, bawa pada court, get Justin Collins Sekira to reconcile. Because ultimately, Justin Collins Sekira must look at everything. Termasuk benda yang baru yang dapat ni because he agreed, he ordered, uh, dia, dia buat judgement on DNA. Uh, dia akan tengok semua holistically and lepas tu dia evaluate now. Ultimately, bagi habis, uh, you know, the, the court punya punya proceedings and decide now, Zahid guilty or not guilty. No complication. At the end of the day, kalau katakan this is not done and this whole thing is a charade, uh, just trying to pull the wool over rakyat punya head, I will join Syed Sadiq. I will agree with Syed Sadiq kalau Benda ni is to pull the wool over everybody's eyes. Nak menipu. And this will be, you know, offset any kind of reforms that PMX wants to do. So, tak boleh lah untuk melepaskan Zahid. I tak setuju untuk melepaskan Zahid in order to keep the government. No, tak boleh. Tapi kalau is delayed because to make sure that the investigation is holistic and all Zahid punya narrative and allegations can either be debunked or affirmed, I'm all for it. I'm all for the suspension. In fact, suspension of Gaid Zaidmir case, yes, indeed, prolongs the uh, currency of Madani punya, government punya rule in this country. Yes, let's make no pretense. We all know that. But that cannot be the motivation lah. Okay, for now, there's no evidence that that's the motivation in order for the government to stay put, postpone indefinitely Zaid punya case. Tak. Jadi sekarang ni, what we can do as rakyat, eh, what what we should all train our guns on is now you kata nak investigate, now nak buat RCI, what's happening to that? We want to know, we want updates. We want to see progress. Because at the end of kalau katakanlah misalnya kata you menipu, pendakwa raya menipu, Zahid menipu, PMX menipu, we want to find that out soon. But we cannot conclude before 
the process is complete. So this is, uh, for example, orang punya isu dengan Syed Sadiq. You jump into conclusion, you terus conclude, number one, Zahid is guilty. You conclude that this government terus nak lepaskan Zahid. Uh, you conclude that pendawa raya, you know, backpedal. Where? Tak ada basis. Bila tak ada basis, is fitnah. So therefore, memang ambil kesempatan. Bukan berani. You berani memfitnah. Sedangkan you sendiri ada kes and you sendiri kena defend. So why should be, we assume that Zahid is guilty and Syed Sadiq is innocent? Why? On what basis? Because of our political lineage. That is not being objective. That is not being fair. Point is, neither Zahid nor uh, Syed Sadiq has been convicted. And they should not be treated as convicts. And therefore, for one person that's potentially going to be convicted, uh, talking about another potentially going to be convicted person uh, as though they're, they're guilty, that is that is hypocrisy. Itulah hypocrite. And, and, and to me, the way is delivered so so rude. So that's why this person is not liked by many uh, while some people extol him as berani. So I feel terpanggil to put matters into perspective and hope is, I hope it's clarified. Mariam Mia Mota, uh, Mariam Mota punya video is defective because it's, it's, it's on the underlying presumption that Zaid is guilty is on the underlying uh, presumption that you know uh, this government is backpedaling on corruption. Kok mana? When in the same breath she's saying that this is a temporary suspension of Zaid punya case. Again, conflicting whatever she is saying. This is my two cents worth.